Shalom. Man. <sighs> Don't blame God, people, for the mistakes you make. It's insane. A lot of people like to blame God. God, oh, there's murder in this world. Where's God? You know, God's not doing his job. Someone said in a comment section. I asked them, uh, please uh, show me um, in the Bible or history book or any book in general that tells me all God's jobs. Because for all we know, his job is to sit on the throne and be praised because he's God. He's God, man. You know, he could do what he wants. People act act like he out here just slaying people and putting, doing these things and he the one shooting people. You know, like, he's, you know, God is the one very sad, more upset than the human beings on this planet. God gave everybody opportunity to repent, to make good choices. There's nothing in this life you're going through where God did not provide an opening to escape whatever you're going to go do. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, it's just saddening to hear like, oh, you know, God's not doing his job or God is uh, allowing this to happen. I mean, God ain't say go shoot that person. God ain't say go steal out that car. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if you could blame God, I mean, why don't you blame the devil? Or how about you blame the music? How about the music? All we hear about in music is uh, money, money, do no, don't, uh, shoot, shoot you up, blah, 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 blah. You know, like, what about that? Blame that. Every, every other song is about murder or how big my gun is and I'll put a crater inside your chest. You know, like, and then you want to blame God? How about the music? How about the movies? How about the video game? Or how about the devil? How about how there's sin in this world because of the devil? You know, God don't God didn't put this in here. He gave everybody a fair opportunity. You know, we have the greatest gift of cho uh, of free will. You know, we have a choice to serve the living God or by default serve the devil. And the devil is out here trying to lie, murder, and steal. He wants to destroy your families. He wants you to be incarcerated. He wants you to be paralyzed. He wants you to be sick with drug addiction and alcohol addiction, pornography addiction. The devil is the one doing these things behind the scenes. He's the one implanting these the discord and the uh and the uh the seeds of destruction in people. It just saddens my heart that people would literally blame God when God ain't do none of this, man. Everybody everybody makes their own choices in life. You know? Uh, like me, I like, I, for example, like I was locked up for six months and three weeks because of some bad choices I made when I was younger. Did I blame God? No. You know, you know what I mean? Like, what, what does God got to do with that? That's my choice. I made that choice. Now I had to lay in my bed with the choices I made, you know? So it's you. You want to blame somebody, blame yourself, blame the devil. But don't you dare blame God, because God wants nothing but good in your life. God wants to do nothing but, you know, have you enter into his kingdom through his son, Jesus. So don't blame God. God ain't do nothing but good in your life. Even, even when you blaspheme him, he loves you. When you just say all these mean things and hateful things about God, he still loves you. And he still blesses you. And he still wakes you up in the morning. You know, so... Tread softly when you talk about God, the living God, because you're not guaranteed anything in life, but you are guaranteed death. That's about it. So be careful, people. That's just a it makes me sick sometimes, man. I love you guys. We gotta pre just stay stay in prayer. Stay in prayer, guys. Pray for each other. Pray for these unbelievers out here as well. And um, cling to Jesus, cause that's the only way we're gonna be free. You know, I'm sorry that the people out there, they don't want to, you know, serve God. And that's cool. That's their choice, man. Enjoy your life. I'm going to still be on the corner praying for you. I'm going to still be on the sidelines praying for you. You know, I wish everybody would turn to Jesus. But you know what? Some people are made for the day of destruction, the Bible says. So, 
still, God bless you. I love you. Um, keep speaking the truth. Unbelievers, atheists, all you people, come into my come into my channel. Come to my channel. Check out my videos. Yes, I want you guys to. And every time you guys leave comments and thumbs down, I'm just saying another prayer for you guys. So, I mean, hey, I'm just glad you're getting some seeds planted in your brain. Praise God for that. You guys have a blessed day. I will be talking with y'all shortly later. You heard me?